Hey guys, Chris Digg here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 2014. Um, we're going to start off by uh, setting up a database instance and um, working with uh, local DB. So to do this, uh, we're going to do two things. We're going to start off by loading up the SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. And we're also, we're also going to run a command prompt. And I like to run that as an administrator. Um, in this case, you don't really have to, but uh, it's probably just a good idea just to make sure we have everything ready to go. OK. So at this point, uh, if we're loading this up, we're going to see um, a screen that looks like this. It's asking for a server name. Uh, and we have our Windows authentication methods set up here. Um, typically, uh, you don't necessarily know what your server name is. Uh, there's a several local DB names. So in order to just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work off uh, the premise that uh, we just can't find it. So we're going to start off at the beginning and we're going to get started just by creating a new database instance. I'm going to call that uh, local DB. So to do this, uh, we type at the command prompt, we type uh, SQL local DB. Okay. And um, when we do this, we're just by itself, it comes up with a bunch of uh, help instructions. Okay. So at this point, I can create a database instance, I can delete, I can start, stop, uh, share, uh, unshare, uh, list all of the uh, local DB instances, um, and then I can uh, print information about an instance, get the versions of, of uh, local B DBs, and uh, 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 tracing on and off. So uh, let's start off by uh, just asking for some information here. Let's get, uh, let's ask for info and we'll just do it like that, info, okay? So currently we have a few different versions of uh, local DB already on the system here. We have uh, a couple that I've created for a class I teach. Um, we have uh, MSSQL local DB, projects V12, projects V13. Uh, and V11 and V12. <clears throat> now, uh, the projects typically ships with uh, Visual Studio. The uh, V11 mostly comes with uh, SQL Studio Express, and then 12 uh, comes with uh, our uh, 2014 version of um, SQL Server Management Studio. To the best of my knowledge, that may not all be perfect, but it's close enough. That's the general rendition of it. Okay, so if I um, start off here, I am gonna, I'm gonna I'm, again. Let's assume that none of these things work here, and we're gonna get started off fresh because we want to use a uh, local DB name that we can use and we can remember really easily. Um, let's just call it. Uh, we're going to call it local DB demo, okay? Uh, oh, and what I'm also going to do here, let's just do one more thing. We're going to check the versions, okay? Oops, I spelled it wrong. I'm going to use the versions. There we go. Okay, there are three versions installed on my system right now. I have a 2012, 2014, 2016. 2016 is usually the one that, that uh, is used in Visual uh, Studio uh, 2016, uh, as well as 2015. Um, what I'm going to do, because I'm using SQL Management Studio 2014, I'm going to use this version right here while I do this. So SQL local DB create. I could have used the short form C as well if I wanted to. And I call that local DB demo. Close quote. And I'm going to put in 
this version number 12.0.2569.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0